Hello everybody, welcome back to Resident Evil 3. Uh, I plan to beat this today. It's uh, And it's really early in the morning, so it should be fun. I don't have much water, which is great, so... Just an added bonus to all of that. But, that's fine. I, I think I'll be fine without water. <laughs> just gonna hang it you, I think. Beat the monster, but not without an instant, uh, without incident. And the aftermath became affected with the T-Virus and soon lost consciousness. <clears throat> yes, we were on our way to save her, if I remember correctly, or find the antidote, but in order to find the antidote, we need to find the guy, and she said he was held up here by creatures that... Stay frosty, I'm on my way. Copy. I'll go on ahead. Alright, we get a first aid here. It says not staying on my head as per usual. I'm surprised this one actually hit the belt. I don't got time for this. That one's definitely alive. <clears throat> that one's hitting a vending machine. Again, the, like, the amount of bullets it takes to kill a zombie was definitely way less in, uh, RE2. That one's definitely not dead, there's no way that's dead. Uh, and this garbage. Or, like, I'll shoot them enough to the point where they'll stay on the ground, and then I shoot them again, and nothing happens, but they get up later anyways. My point exactly. So I guess it's better just to double tap them while they're on the ground, but that's just a waste of a lot of ammo, really. Anyways. That aside, how much do I have? Not a lot, surprisingly. I have a ton more soul rifle ammo. I do not like that plant. Maybe this thingy right here I can get. Which I will get. <clears throat> I have I have an idea. Oh wait, do I have to uh uh shoot, do I can I not? Examine it, so like, is there anything here? We're gonna need to find a tape, huh? Of someone saying what they're here for. If I had to guess. <clears throat> oh my god, why are there so many? Up through this door right here. If they don't. Okay, so they don't go after some point. We'll double tap them. Now I'm still alive. Okay, so I guess double tapping doesn't work out of the way. I mean, I guess I have a knife, actually. I could just stab them until I'm sure they're dead. I never actually thought about the knife. Because normally, the, the knife in the last game is useless, because I would just end up killing them. <clears throat> and then the long haul, right? I would just end up killing them before they... Oh my god, I hate these zombies so much. I'm 
Yeah, I wouldn't end up killing them in the long haul before it would even matter. So you used the knife to make sure they were dead. <clears throat> now here, I guess that makes sense. Okay, they're dead, dead. Oh, your head is missing. Okay. <laughs> That's not good. But I need a I need a cassette tape and I need a key card. That's <clears throat> that's what I remember seeing. So I'm gonna try and get find those or those are in the midst of all of this chaos. Because the knife never kills them. I tried to back away so he couldn't do that. Look at that. There's so many bullets in his jaw and his brain, he has to be dead. Like, there's no doubt about it. He's dead. Oh, hi. Here's another one. So dumb. <clears throat> it's just so dumb to me. Yeah. Is there a thing there? I keep seeing something that's handgun ammo. I think that's giving us handgun ammo. I mean, this isn't a burst fire anymore. That's the one problem I'm having with it because it's not gonna very, it's not gonna shoot very quickly. Meaning I can't kill very quickly. At least these situations that I'm certain of. I don't like it. Is another safe? You're doing a safe thing again? Okay, they were the one I checked. Okay. So where did you come from? Thank you. I've not had a critical hit in like forever. What happened to the missing uh, tape of Dr. B? His research assistant <clears throat> took it to one of the, uh, one of my patients and saw uh, Abbott remove something from a locker in the nurse's station. <sighs> Toward the treatment room. I try to sneak in and look during the night shift. You just stay cool and keep your job. I don't care how important Dr. B is to the medical community, this kind of harassment is not okay. I promise uh, I won't let them destroy the evidence. He's a pig in this court. Stay brave, stay strong, my friend. There's a key card here that I, again, don't have. Oh my god, are you serious? Look at how many. But you can't even really recognize your face. There's so many bullets in here. Same for you. Anyone else? I'm gonna need this room later, so. Green herb. He's still alive, no doubt. You're still not dead. Once it's good, once it's fine. But like when they do it multiple times over, it's just annoying and it doesn't make much sense because I've thoroughly shot them in the face. Uh, so there's a key card in the safe lock here, and there's also a treatment room I need to go to. Okay, where are we? This is a safe room. Oh, there's a safe room in here. Let's go. <clears throat> Over 20 mysterious illness patients, patients in the isolation uh, wing, se severe limb necrosis, fever, 
Monterey delirium and signs of uh, hyperphagia, uh, possible infection. Tried every antiseptic, still not, uh, still no blood work back from the research wing. Ask again. Dr. Young was bitten while treating one of the patients. We've disinfected the wound, but his fever won't go down. Nothing works. Meanwhile, the outpatient wing is completely is complete anarchy. The patients are delirious and growing more violent by the minute. We've called in our off-duty staff. It's all hands on deck now. We have got to contain this chaos. I, I, I understand at this point that half of these zombies are not alive. We tried, I, uh, I swear to God, we did. There's nothing else to be done. The chaos is completely beyond control. Victims are pouring in now, dying and spreading the infection faster than we can reach them. So we've given up trying. Those of us uh, who aren't infected have barricaded ourselves in here. You hear the cries for help on the outside, the screaming, but none of us will go out there because it would be the end of us. I can't believe we've abandoned our patients. It's the worst thing imaginable for a nurse. I can't stop shaking, but I want to live. I want to live. <clears throat> 9 p.m. We hear a helicopter flying overhead and immediately started crying and hugging each other, thinking it was a rescue team on the way. But then the sound, uh, the sound grew distant, and all uh, all we're left with uh, now is moaning of the dead and the silent screams in our hearts. We're all about to lose our minds. Dr. Young, Arena, and Miranda to Dakota, I'm so sorry I failed you. Something's coming. Help me. So she died. Why do we not have to walk back? I mean, it's probably just ammo, but it's ammo I need, so. And the ID cards are not to be taken off hospital grounds under any circumstances. As for our security measures, all employees must uh, store their ID in their own personal lockers before returning home for the day. Thank you, administration. Key to a locker room has gone missing. Uh, the last person to have it dropped it somewhere in the courtyard. Those are covered. We have a spare key here in the office. Please stop the administration to borrow it. Oh, really? You need a voice recorded thing. Dr. Bard, are you in there? I'm here to rescue you. Open the door. No voice match found. Voice match? What kind of sci-fi bullshit is this? So they bring more of the mysterious illness patients. The sedative uh, don't stop their delirium, so we have put them in the straight jackets and moved them to the isolation wing. Mom is the isolation wing is already bursting at the seams. The director has ordered us to admit anyone with symptoms free of charge. But what does he expect us to do? Wish that better. We don't have a cure. And not uh, not all that uh, that's bothering me. Uh, that these when these patients die, they're not collected by the usual mortar uh, mortar teams. we have been told it's a special handling for the illness from spreading, but I'm not sure I buy it. Miranda saw some guys wheeling a body through the forbidden door during the night. Why? Where? What's going on? It's cool. I'm getting lower bits, but I could care less because I need a safe combination and I need also that also that also that I want to set you free where am I also gonna get a key card from as well oh wait not this way you don't have a choice we've been literally everywhere but here how do I get you to crouch Oh, hey, wait a minute, what? I missed this. I don't know how I missed that, but I didn't now. Not only is the key there, but a uh, green herb, so I can combine the green herb with this and have far too many health items. With ammo. I guess I didn't go through the entire staff room, but that's fine. Last grenade. Hat. <sighs> that actually got me. Not want to get attacked today. Okay, so we got the hospital ID, which leads to two rooms. I know for a fact that I can go through now. I'm 
what are you? anything for me. You just made me waste my stuff. Nice. Yup. Oh. This was where I was supposed to go. I suddenly don't want to be here. I'm going to go over to that other area that is part of the key card. There was another area down below that we could... Oh, I'm going to be there anyways. Fine. I'm just, I just realized that I need to go down there in order to Set the video code up anyway. I have a flashbang, a few rounds of assault rifle ammo, and a lot of pistols. No, I don't have a lot of pistols. Ammo. Of course I don't. I don't know if these things look like flickers or like what, but I want nothing to do with it. I don't understand this. I don't understand his uh, ability or any of that nonsense. Oh my god. I'm just trying to like find a way to get around these guys without actually shooting them because they just take way too many bullets, man. It wasn't evident enough I'm gonna need these bullets for the big dudes. Speaking of. in that room. Dead, and there's one more in that area. Stop. Please. Make sure I heard zombies moving and I didn't want to, I didn't want to die, so. Oh my god, that thing is quick. quick is the reason I'm missing shots. <laughs> wow. Got it. Alright. Cool. A little bit more assault rifle ammo for my Trouble. I needed this for the audio cassette tape anyway. So I win. All around. No genius. Using doorways to block enemy pathing. And they weren't even meant to. They, their pathing wasn't even meant to come this way anyway, so. 
I kind of just missed the job, I guess. I don't know. I also opened this door, which I can't remember these to this area. Oh, there's two ways to jump down. Okay, hold on. What? There's one up here, but I'm just gonna dip. Oh, there's way more back there than there were before. Unsurprisingly, they opened the gate. This is a surgical suite. This gives me a lot more ammo. I don't know why there's ammo in a surgical suite, but sure. Pen grenades! Those are gonna be useful. I didn't loot everything in this room, surprisingly. Also, I didn't find the code to the... to the... Oh, let me shoot thingy. That's just strange. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Whoa. I mean, I guess that worked. That worked surprisingly well. Carlos has so many healing items, it's not even funny. I've got five full health items as Carlos. I don't think that's right. Um. Oh, hey. I am Carlos. All I wanted to know was what the documents were doing in your office in the first place. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm goddamn Nathaniel Bard. I'm the best biologist you'll ever meet, you bedpan changing waste of a nursing degree. Oh. I wanted to hear more of that. That sounded very delightful. I wonder if I'm taking all of the stuff from Jill. I hope not. Oh, that's not good. Bard. Tyrell. Bard's dead. He's been shot. Shit. And the vaccine? I'm looking. Well, look harder. There's gotta be a computer, right? Dear Dr. Bard, it's my pleasure to uh, cordially invite you to the banquet on uh, September 10th. Central ho uh, Hotel. We will be exchanging viewpoints on Raccoon City's new special medical zone. Attended, uh, attending will be uh, Mayor uh, Michael Warren, Chief uh, Police uh, Brian Irons, and other distinguished members of our community. Thursday, uh, September 10, 1998, 6 p.m. Hotel Central Floor will be honored if you join. Sincerely, Greg Tester, United States Senator. Nate, I will be introducing the bill for the new drug of yours in the mid-August. Bring the cash. <laughs> we book the suite for the usual after party. You're a brunette guy, right? I'll let Irons know. Hmm. Well, someone made it here before us, which makes zero sense unless it was Nikolai, I guess. Bard, Greg, I know you're watching the news. This virus is going to devour the whole country. The dead will wash over the uh, Capitol Hill like a tidal wave. You're not safe, however, you've always been a good friend to me, so I'd like to offer you a way out. I have in my possession one dose of the vaccine of the virus, or uh, the virus, the Holy Grail. It's not my family. It's not for my family, not for my uh, ladies on the side. No, Greg, I'm saving it for you. And anyone that you're the future of the United States. But if you want the goods, Greg, you have to, uh, you have got to, <laughs> without uh, Umbrella finding out. Lean on the Pentagon for me. I know you've got the, uh, got the clout. Let's see if uh, someone could get a rescue team in here without UBCS involvement. You stretch your back and scratch yours, which should sound pretty uh, chesty if the parties we've been uh, to hurry. What time is running out, Nate? This is BRC Chief Nathaniel Bard, September 29, 11 p.m. <laughs> I am acutely aware that my time's running out. And I hope and pray, by making this recording and bringing the truth to light, that I can restore some small shred of honor to my name. All of Raccoon City's suffering began with the release of a biological weapon known as the T-Virus. 
My employer, the Umbrella Corporation, engineered this virus. And they ordered my team to develop a vaccine, which we did. Now, I keep samples of this vaccine here in my office. The rest of it is stored underground. But those sons of bitches at the board, they want to destroy it. They don't want the world to know what they've done. So they're trying to erase all evidence that the virus ever existed. No, I'm not a fool. I know they don't want me to... For it. Hang tight. Oh, don't even worry. I can truck through everything. I have enough meds to just not care. I got it. Good. I'm headed your way. Be careful. Careful? <laughs> have you seen this town? It'll be a fucking miracle if I get there in one piece. <laughs> I've got all sorts of meds lined up. This is crazy. I've got three things I can throw away right now, and that would be fine. And I don't want to waste any, because they're, like, full meds. I, I, I would use this if I could, but I can't. It's like... Whatever. Good thing I don't care. I'm not wasting my time on you. I don't know what that is. I still don't know, and I want to know, but I've never found out. I don't know what this bash is for. It is not a dodge mechanic. I can tell you that for sure. You're gonna be okay, Joe. still people in the city. You think Uncle Sam gives a shit? Fuck. Here they come. Oh, you sit tight. I got this. Better grab some gear. Sounds like there's a lot of them out there. I need ammo. I got first aid at the wall zoo. I'm gonna get one more too. Also, you look like you got bit on the arm as well, otherwise you wouldn't have blood, so... I'm assuming you didn't make it, and you being here is not good. So... I'm gonna try to lower the window shutters. The less entry points, the better. And how do we do that? I'll try hacking into the hospital security system. Keep them off me in the meantime. Don't tell me there's a defend the area section. There's a dead neighbor. Okay. Now the fun shit begins. If there were grenades, I'd be happy, but there aren't.
Oh, don't tell me they're... Okay, they just disappeared. Dude, Inferno difficulty would be so difficult to do on this. I don't even know how you would do it. I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, there's a this thing right there for that. I don't have enough room for it. I'm loading full mags is the only way I know to do this. I don't need that. I need the assault rifle ammo though. I think if they go down in this way, they die permanently. Which rarely happens, but cool. Back to my solar rifle so we have the ammo to use. What am I supposed to do with a timed explosive? I mean, we have that now, I guess. Oh, come on. Find the breaker. It must be somewhere. Oh, okay, I know what that's used for now. Okay, this is really problematic because this thing is horrifying. Those zombies crawling out of everywhere. There you go, flash grenades. Did you get it? It did. Take that. You'll die. I can get back to defending. I don't think it worked as well as I wanted it to. No, those things are not cool. Those things will die immediately. I have one grenade, two flash things. I'll just be using ammo from here. I think they're dead. Wow, this is look at me. Grenade. I ran out of grenades because I should have put them all the orcs. I don't think I'd see any more of those, but I am now. I'm heavily regretting it now. <laughs> I figured out how to pick. What? I did not know how that worked. How was I supposed to know how that worked? Oh, I screwed that up. I didn't know if I punched him and then I aimed at him, it would slow down time and I could shoot at him a bunch. That would have been nice to know. Watch this. 
Now I just gotta clean up. I guess that's what we clean up, I guess. Oh, now the main door's open. It's the detonator. Before I had a ton of ammo, now I just have a bunch of, uh... There we go. Two for one deal. I don't know how I got a two for one deal! Challenge, or the achievement, but that's funny. I need a hero which you've been unlocked too. You all right? Not even close. But at least it's over. I'm coming back. Vaccine's a real deal. Good. You going somewhere? You're damn right. What do you think you're gonna do? Whole city's about to be microwaved. Come on, man. Call the government. Tell them we found a cure. You stall for time. Ballsy motherfucker. <laughs> We're about to go underground. <laughs> first person segment. Since we can't have the game in first person. It's over now. The city is safe. It's a dream. Spencer Memorial Hospital. We are the ones with lockpicks and a lot of less inventory than I remember Jill having. Ah. 30 round, 3 round burst. It's a quick rate of fire, will allow it to do a lot of damage in a short time. So was that his? 19 or G18? I don't really care for this professor, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'd rather, especially now that I don't have a lot of inventory space, I'd rather take the burst fire over every anything else right now. I'm not gonna lie. And then... Shortcut it. Uh, I kind of want to leave it off here, because I know it's a safe spot to end it. I don't know how much longer the, I'm going to make it until I make this save. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this shorter video of RE3, surprisingly. But, yeah, if we did Carlos's section in the hospital, I don't think we have much longer to go. I think we have to finish this area, and there's the underground lab, and I think that's it.
at least from what I looked up. Uh, I didn't look up any way, I just wanted to know how many errors were left. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Whatever. Bye-bye.